Hey folks, Mr. Justin here with Secret Weapon Miniatures and another two minute tutorial for you. This time looking at salt chipping. Uh, that is how we can create a uh, weathered or chipped paint surface using salt. So that penny there is for me to help uh, check the focus on the camera. So what I have today, if I can open the darn thing, is my container of salt. Uh, I use an extra fine sea salt for most of my work because I like tiny little dots. Uh, the size of the salt uh, matters a great deal in terms of what kind of effect you're going to get. So if you're using the extra large like uh, kosher salt or um, uh, sidewalk salt for the snow, uh, you're going to get bigger marks. Uh, in this case I want nice small spots. So what I'm going to do is actually just put some water into my airbrush. I have here a uh, 25 by 70 base that I painted with the Krylon Brown. Just going to get it wet. Clean out the rest of the air from my brush. And I'm actually just going to, once it's wet, take the salt, sprinkle it over those areas. Obviously the more salt uh, I put down, the heavier the chipping is going to appear because I'm going to remove the salt layer. It acts as a mask uh, between the um, uh, base coat and the top coat. And now, because we don't have a long time to wait, I am going to go ahead and blow dry this. Sorry for the noise. Got it on a low setting because I don't want to blow my salt around. You'll know it's ready to go because uh, it'll be very, very white. You can see now it's a translucent where the salt has absorbed the moisture. Now that it's starting to dry, I'm going to turn the blow dryer up. And to help us out a little more, I'm actually going to get a Q-tip, wick away some of those heavier spots of moisture. Of course, if I were actually doing this on a model, I'd give it plenty of time to dry. A lot of time I'll leave it out. Uh, if you live in a, an incredibly humid part of the world, uh, leaving it out overnight can actually be tricky because it might absorb moisture uh, in your garage or something overnight. So if you come out and you find that it's uh, uh, not a very bright white or that it's absorbed more moisture, you're going to have to keep it in the house and try blow drying. Alright, a couple of spots are still more damp than I would like, but I'm going to go ahead and move on anyway, just for the sake of getting through the tutorial for you. But you can see that it's mostly white now, very flaky looking white, and that is exactly what we're after. I'm going to load up an opaque gray paint here, get nice contrast between the brown and the gray. And I'm just going to airbrush that right over the top of the salt. You can do this in multiple layers, so I could add more salt after the gray if I wanted to, so that I could have multiple layers of chip. I'm not going to do that today though. You can also clean this layer off and then seal it uh, with a matte sealer and then move on to another layer. Uh, that way that this chipping is preserved exactly as it was. You can go right over the top. Uh, those of you familiar with my 1966 Oldsmobile 442, uh, that's what I did to the roof there is I layered a bunch of salt, cleaned all that off with, you know, so uh, base coat, salt color, salt color, salt color, salt color, did that about six times, cleaned all that off, matte sealed it, and then I did it again with the primer. Uh, the yellow primer that would have been under the car. So, in this case, I need to make sure it's absolutely dry again. You don't want to start trying to move wet paint around on the base or on the model. Now that I've cooked my fingers quite thoroughly, I am going to take a nice soft brush. Let's see, where's one of my big ones? Oh, not you. I like you. You're a good brush. We'll use this guy. And just gently brush off that salt. You can see it's still a little wet. So this is not ideal, but it gives you the idea. in here even. 
brush off some of that salt. Now the nice thing with the salt is that you can get in here, again, making sure everything is completely dry, you can get in here if you need to with a wet brush to get salt out of hard to reach places or if it's particularly sticky in a spot. Uh, you can combine the salt and hairspray techniques. Uh, the challenge with that being that if you uh, do need to use water to get a section of salt off, well, now you're going to take some hairspray with it. Uh, combining two techniques like that at the same time is not something I generally do. It has specific applications, uh, but when you're doing the salt chipping technique, water works just fine, uh, even if you're doing multiple layers and you're building it up. So there you go, real quick, salt chipping. You can see you get those nice small little dots where they clump up, you get some nice chips, and because this is a subtractive method, meaning we're removing paint instead of adding paint, uh, it gets then uh, the proper three-dimensional look, so clearly the chipping is underneath the layer of paint that we've removed. And that's it, that's salt chipping in a nutshell. Any questions, you know where to find me. Mr. Justin at secretweaponminiatures.com, Facebook, Secret Weapon Miniatures, and I'll see you for the next two-minute tutorial. Thanks a bunch.